Hi, it's Chester Tuckwell at Blue PKN Computer Training, and in this video, we're going to look at plotting scatter graphs with two sets of data. What we've got is we've got ice cream sales in July 2018 and ice cream sales in July 2019. And what we're doing is plotting the sort of highest temperature of the day against the number of sales. And we want to see if there's, well, we want to look at the comparison between the two years. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by just creating an empty uh, scatter graph. So I'll go up to the insert tab on my ribbon and in the charts group there, I'm just going to choose the normal scatter graph. So that gives me an empty scatter graph. And I'm just going to make that slightly bigger. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the chart design tab on the ribbon and I'm going to go to select data. And in the select data source dialog, I'm going to add a legend entry or series. So I'll click on add and I'm going to give the series a name. So this first one I'm going to call July uh, 2018. That's the series name. Now the X values, the horizontal axis, what I want on there are is the, the sales. So I'm going to select the sales amounts for 2018. So it's control shift down arrow key to select down to the last consecutive value. And then for the Y values, I want that to be the temperature, highest temperature on the day. So again, control shift down arrow key, click on OK. And if we just initially look at the values that is plotted on a graph, so along the bottom, we've got the sales values and up the side there, we've got the temperature. And we can see that there is a growth in sales as the temperature increases. So we need, need to do the same for the 2019 data. So I'm going to go back to select data and I'm going to add another series. And I'm going to call this July 2019. And again, your X values, well, with my example anyway, that's going to be horizontal axis, which is sales, control shift down arrow key. And then your Y values, that's going to be the temperature, the vertical axis, control shift down arrow key. Click on OK, click on OK, and there we are. So a slightly messier year in 2019. This one's a little bit neater, but nevertheless, it does show the data. Now, I'm going to show a legend, so I'm going to go up to my plus sign there, show a legend, and I think I'll show it at the bottom. And I'm also going to show some trend lines. So let's do it first for the 2018 data. I'll show a trend line. And I'm also going to show it for the 2019 data. So that neatly shows the trend line for those years. And what I might also do is do a chart title so I say ice cream sales, July 18 versus July 19. Okay, nice and simple little video there just to show you how to plot those two values if you're struggling with that, with that especially with things like scatter graphs. Hopefully that's been useful to you. Uh, I'll say goodbye till the next video.